Tonight, People's Hall set to fall. Council clears the way for demolition. Jury deliberates near Cole's sex case. A minister meets stakeholders over womp issues. News with Bruce Diamond and Brady Barry. Good evening. Good evening. After months of bitter debate, the fate of Rockhampton's RCYA Hall has finally been sealed. Rockhampton City Council is last night voting to have the People's Hall pulled down. Rockhampton Mayor Jim McRae says while he's pleased Council have finally agreed on a course of action for the RCYA Hall, he won't rest until the hall's actually gone. And Mayor McRae says while the building is to be removed, it's not necessarily being demolished. We're not bringing excavators and bulldozers and taking it to the dump. We're going to salvage it, we will recycle it, it'll be pulled apart board by board and it will be available for reuse. Mayor McRae says work on removing the hall should begin by the end of the month and says council only came to its decision after exhausting all available options. He looked at the options for the Frenchville State School, but understandably they've got other priority under the cool schools program to air-conditioned sections of the school. Look, we can understand it would have been a, a good option, but they have to look at other ways of spending their hard-earned money. With the hall's fate now definitely decided upon, Mayor McRae says the way is now clear for the Riverbank redevelopment to commence within the next few weeks. Mayor McRae adding that when the Riverbank project is eventually complete, it'll offer Rockhampton residents far more than the old hall ever did. Kirk Costa, Wind News.